euh, serveur. Pardon. Hello, uh, Laura from the Catalan News Agency. Uh, today there is a big demonstration plan in Barcelona and the motto is Catalonia, the next state in Europe. So it's basically a pro-independence uh, demonstration. Uh, are you aware of that? And uh, if so, which is the position of the EU Commission in regards to the potential creation of a new state within the borders of the Union? Thank you. Well, thank you for your question. We are, of course, aware of, uh, of, uh, of this uh, protest. We read the, the press and we have been informed also by our representation uh, in Barcelona. Uh, our uh, general line vis-à-vis uh, -vis movements or political organization that uh, would like to uh, promote the independence of a particular region of one of uh, the 27 member states is uh, not to comment. It is for uh, the region, the political forces at national or uh, regional level uh, to discuss these matters uh, within uh, uh, the domestic uh, context. And uh, uh, our, uh, what we need to remind is that uh, the, uh, there is no um, EU treaty provisions regarding uh, the secession of one of uh, the region of an existing member state. And uh, in any case, if one region of any member state would uh, want uh, in the future to uh, make, uh, to separate for its member states and to apply to uh, EU membership, well then we'll have to uh, be dealt with by international law and then to respect EU treaties when it comes to accession. So we have no, again, no particular comments on this specific uh, situation and the demonstration today. I just would like to remind what is in uh, the EU treaties. Follow up question? About this negotiation in international law, what it means if uh, there is a referendum in Scotland or Catalonia or somewhere else, the day after uh, this region is outside or inside, or there is a period where they are nowhere? Well, all that is uh, a speculative scenario, and we get regular question on, the, on these different speculation with different regions in Europe. Uh, under international law, and I'm not here to give you a technical briefing on international law, but any secession process for member states, part of the international community, will have to be done, will have to be uh, organized according to international law, so that this new organization gets recognition from the international community nothing to do with us. Then, uh, uh, if he wants to apply for EU membership, then this will have to be done according to the treaties and the provision uh, regarding accession. So there are two different steps. The secession process under international law and uh, the request for accession to EU member states under the EU treaties. In the meantime, of course, uh, this new treaty is not part of the EU since he has to make uh, a uh, request for accession. But again, all that is speculative and uh, we have not received any request uh, so far. Any other tricky question like this one? No? Well, thank you. See you tomorrow.